questions? If not, thank you so much. Um, Next short talk from Jitu. Future of NCBS. Oops. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there could be a short answer to that short talk, <laughs> which uh, some of you could guess. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> but you know, maybe I'll, I'll try and give a longer uh, answer. Um, and uh, perhaps it's not the right one. But, but let's, um, let's, let me s start. Uh, well, f first of all, you know, uh, I also realize I'm the only, only thing perhaps a living thing between you and, and lunch. So don't, don't eat me. Um, and, uh, okay. So here's one more picture with the famous glass. So Obed, happy birthday. And I know it's in a few days, but hopefully in a few days, we'll also have a building ready to give you an even bigger birthday present. So um, this auditorium, we, we tried to uh, get it together, and lots of people were involved in doing that to, in fact, uh, wish you uh, with a big uh, present. Um, so uh, I hope you like it. Uh, then um, uh, there's another picture of Obed without a glass, and I think he looks happier. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he's got a glass hidden somewhere. Um, anyway, so, uh, so Obed. Um, uh, I, what I wanted to do briefly was say that the story of NCBS so far, and as Vijay so very, um, uh, very eloquently talked uh, about this morning, is, is about people. And it's, I mean, perhaps he didn't say that explicitly, but I, I, would, I would like to. Um, and so NCBS is 20. And it, I guess, <clears throat> uh, in some sense, perhaps time to reflect on where we're going to go from here. Um, in a small measure, it really, and well, perhaps in a large measure, it depends on where we uh, came from. Um, and if this is a timeline, um, uh, and obeyed and a lot of baggage before uh, in Bombay and uh, elsewhere uh, began began this uh, this journey, uh, and subsequently, I, I mean, what's what's happening in terms of building the fabric of NCBS? Um, has been, uh, you know, people. So Vijay uh, and and folks, Sudhir, Jayan, JT, Matthew, and Panix. Um, I'm just sort of, you know, going to paint this fabric or fill it in a little bit, um, and and then we'll we'll move on to talking about our future uh, and other people. Ignore this fellow, uh, and and some others joined. Um, Apurva, uh, Opi. Uh, Shona, Sadamini, uh, then Madan showed up, showed up with this quickly. Um, and then we had the famous four, uh, Uma, Vinalini, Sandhya, uh, Imina, and then Mukund sort of trying desperately to peep from underneath the, the work of these uh, uh, mighty people. Um, and then uh, Veronica joined us um, somewhere around uh, this time here, this timeline here. Uh, Krishnan, uh, and then Sohail, um, Sanjay, uh, and uh, Deepa. Um, I've, I've, mi I've, I've missed out a few people who are not uh, uh, with us at the moment, uh, but uh, uh, I mean, I'm just sort of painting a fabric of the people who are here right now. Um, and there's Dominique, uh, Mahesh, and Sachi. Uh, and then there is this set of people who've just uh, begun starting their, uh, their uh, careers at NCBS. Um, and uh, I, I, I noticed that there are uh, three new people who haven't yet started their labs, but they're in the, and I think at least the two of these guys are in the audience, that's uh, Krishna Meg and uh, um, Ramanuj. Not sure where Deepa is, but she's, uh, she's assumed to appear. Right? She's there? Okay, hi. Hey, uh, hello. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and then, uh, so of course, Raghu, Sandeep, uh, Vatsala, Madhu, and Ashwin. Oops, 
rather lost there. But he's actually uh, hanging out in Sea Camp at the moment, and um, and I'll tell you a lot about Sea Camp, uh, uh, you know, in terms of the future of our, our science, um, <clears throat> and why it's in fact uh, appropriate that he's looking a little lost. Um, so you know, but there are the names, um, and you know, this set of people when when NCBS began, uh, in many ways, I think instrumental in terms of Omer's view about biology, um, established. As a, a place to do science where we think about scales of organization in biology. And I, and I, and I think, and I've, be, I've at least come to think, being uh, sort of a chemist who just thought about molecules, uh, that he's thinking about scales uh, in, of organization biology is, is really the key to understanding everything that happens in biology. Um, and, and um, you know, in terms of these scales, I mean, we have people working uh, at the molecular and uh, macromolecular scale, uh, both experimental and uh, and in terms of um, and in terms of the uh, um, computational aspects of the of, of the molecular scales. Uh, we have people who uh, then you know simply then transcend any other scale and move to the to genes and formation of animals. Uh, but then they are they sort of have to deal with, in some sense, the cellular scale, um, and um, and then there's people who, in fact, interject uh, to remind uh, these folks that there is there are cells, um, and then there are people who work uh, or uh, with uh, with uh, aspects of biology that allow us to speak and think um, and and do things at different scales, um, but. Along with this, these sets of scales, um, you know, there are also serendipitous encounters. And I think one important uh, encounter was the wildlife program that uh, came to be embedded here with um, both Ullas, who's here gesticulating about the size of fish that he catches in the Kaveri River, uh, but while he was looking at a tiger uh, on the other side, um, uh, and, and Ajit, who is running the program here. So the wildlife program came to be uh, embedded at NCBS because these guys, as Vijay mentioned, and, and Anindya Sinha, well, wanted uh, to, to bring uh, a sense of the uh, field ecology to, to, um, to uh, an institution that would support it in serious ways. And Matthew and um, Vijay, I think, in their foresight, um, just invited them, foresight and I would say generosity, invited them to come and be here. And many of us said, you know, why? Um, of course, we weren't aware of the grand design. But I think what has happened from that and uh, uh, is that a, a whole new set of people who think about uh, ecology and evolution um, have emerged from that in encounter with this wildlife uh, um, uh, program. And, you know, I, I, may be, I may be saying this in, in, um, uh, in too, you know, uh, restricted a sense, but, but I, I, I see it in this way. Um, and along with that, we sort of had the, um, the I'd say the, uh, the um, chutzpah to think that we could, in fact, engage with theory and modeling uh, of biological systems. And I think having these two ends of having, having the possibility of looking at field ecology and the fact that we have people who want to think in theoretical terms about biological systems uh, is, is, I think, an enormous gamut of, of uh, intellectual space to cover in, in, uh, in our current uh, campus as it is now. So, so this is our current campus and the science that's going on in the current campus, which engages with a lot of global uh, interactions and also local connections, as Vijay pointed out this morning. So, so in many ways, our scales are um, of, of, of biology range from field ecology in space and evolution in time uh, to, to the sort of more, I would say, conventional uh, uh, realms of bio biological systems that, we are, that, that at least I was more familiar with. Um, uh, and I think that was in some sense tra tra transformed by having uh, the interjection of wildlife program. I, I mean, just saying this as a model of how, how institutional sort of directions go because uh, small um, uh, acts of these kinds can generate uh, major shifts in one's thinking about, uh, about where uh, things can go. So, so in, in many ways, I think this kind of serendipitous uh, engagements uh, lead, can lead to big institutional changes as well. Um, 
So, uh, and I, I would say that that's really bringing, bringing us to thinking about scales of organization, expanding from the molecular to, uh, to ecosystems, and also in uh, temporal uh, uh, dimensions as well. So, so given that, um, <clears throat> what's, uh, what, uh, what's next? And I think, uh, well, with uh, our new folk, uh, and uh, whoops, and what's that? That's another paper to review. Uh, uh, and you know, the fact that we have now at least 12 people who are, are also uh, with, with, between the zero and five uh, um, uh, year uh, time scale, that I think the future of biology will be decided by not only what has happened before, but what they bring to this space as well. And I think that's, that, that, that in some sense has to be the way we look at the future of biology. What we've also tried to do is now um, embed uh, a, a, some thinking on uh, history of Indian scientific systems to, to think about you know, where we are in the location that we um, are engaging in our science. Uh, and this has been spearheaded by um, Anna Spudic, beginning to, uh, uh, beginning to sort of uh, engage with Indian medical systems and the botanicals associated with Indian medical systems. Uh, and now uh, Soumya is anchoring this uh, history of Indian scientific systems at NCBS. And we have uh, uh, visitors, uh, Indu Menon and uh, Devakran working on, uh, in fact, Indu also working on history of Indian medical systems and Devakran uh, working uh, at the, uh, on history of Indian mathematical systems, which in some sense also tie up to the history of Indian medical systems. Um, uh, and, uh, and that's been a very interesting and exciting uh, area that we hope uh, will grow uh, in, in more solid terms in, in the future. Um, so, so there's then a whole range of things that we are doing. Um, and what can we expect for the next five or 10 years? Well, what we can expect, well, is, is sort of in physical terms, new lab space, new neighbors, and lots of funds. Uh, and I think that's, there's no doubt about that. Uh, so, but what about our science then? When, where is it gonna go? Um, so here's you know what we uh, will imagine our space um, in the well we already can imagine our space uh, here and now we have NCBS with its global and local um, interactions as Vijay pointed out this morning um, we have a beginnings of a bio cluster if you will we have 50 plus PIs in this neighborhood very soon we will be 50 plus PIs. Uh, we have, you know, 30 at NCBS and um, perhaps 20 at INSTEM soon. Um, and uh, with Jyotsna and Rams, uh, the deans at INSTEM and Vijay, uh, there are major engagements in specific uh, specific aspects of, uh, uh, of stem cell biology. Uh, so for a cell biologist, I mean, this is ex an extraordinary opportunity. So I, I speaking as a cell biologist, I'd say, you know, having having um, cell biology operating in this scale um, uh, at the INSTEM just opens up enormous possibilities of engaging in new types of activities. Um, what we need uh, to engage with all these activities is a, a major emphasis on, on where we can bring in new technology, bring in uh, a proper management of core facilities and development of core facilities. And this is where uh, this uh, not-for-profit company, CCAMP, whose CEO is uh, Rams, um, also one of the deans at INSTEM, uh, is, is central to this, to this whole plot. So if CCAMP does well, uh, I can see this whole um, a group of institutions uh, also being ably supported to do exactly what they want to do uh, across these different scales of activity. So I, I, in some sense, the uh, presence of uh, our, uh, our current faculty and the faculty of INSTEM uh, beginning uh, their activities at CCAMP is, is a good sign. Uh, so Ashwin looking lost in that picture uh, is a good sign because he is going to drive what, what goes on uh, here. Um, so uh, uh, he's going to drive what goes on here as well as uh, is Ram, I hope. Um, so, uh, so I think in, in many ways, uh, what I, so what I want to then indicate is that uh, some some possibilities. So if you just look at um, what 
uh, Krishnan has been doing. Just thinking about what Krishnan has been doing, engaging with the local um, ecology of uh, 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 and the the local flora and fauna that he finds on the coast of uh, Tamil Nadu. Uh, I know it's not that far from Palghat, but uh, but still, you know, he looks for it wherever he can go into the field. Uh, he finds uh, snails, um, and he's been engaging. Uh, I think in a completely transformative way uh, from the kind of research science that uh, he was engaged with earlier. So what our environment will allow one to do is take bold steps and new, take new directions without fear. But all one has to do is have, a, have an imagination that allows you to take these uh, bold and daring steps. And you know, if Krishna can do it, I'm sure all of us can. Uh, so uh, that's one point. Well, the other thing that's happening, and I think this is also very exciting, uh, is that we are setting up some major uh, clinical interactions uh, between um, NCBS and, and uh, neighboring uh, um, uh, um, hospitals. Uh, with Sudhir spearheading one through funds from the DBT, uh, and uh, Ram's uh, spearheading uh, another uh, through the uh, INSTEM agenda. Um, so even here, um, having uh, serious interactions with uh, clinical um, uh, researchers uh, and building a, a team who can work with clinicians is, is going to be vital to us in terms of understanding uh, where these scales of organization of biology can, uh, can engage with uh, uh, medicine, for example. Uh, more than medicine, I think, uh, what's very exciting is that um, we uh, are probably, um, you know, well poised in this neighborhood to engage with more uh, physical biology. And here I hope uh, Sh Shiva brings a physical biology center to, uh, to NCBS where we can then stitch some relationships between uh, molecules and cells and, and larger scales uh, in terms of uh, experiments that, that can be interpreted from, physical, uh, uh, from, from the physics uh, point of view. Um, to facilitate that, uh, we want to also uh, uh, have a large uh, bioengineering program that, uh, that evolves in this neighborhood. Um, you know, that's a lot of things to do. Um, and so that's, I think, where our future uh, must be. But it should not be limited by what's here. It, it should be limited by what, by what we uh, imagine. Um, and <clears throat> to make all this happen, um, there is something in the red box at the right. Um, there has to be the appropriate research infrastructure. And to manage that, uh, there has to be a proper uh, administration. And, and I think that's, in some sense, the key to having our future secure, that if we have all these demands and make all these demands and have these broad plans or big plans, uh, it needs people to, to carry them out um, and also needs a huge deal of support on the ground. So let me actually go through some of, the, some of what uh, has, uh, has in fact uh, been uh, put on the ground in terms of the people we have. So we've recently established a um, research development office with the uh, 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 leadership of um, Savita, uh, who um, uh, is managing our engagements with research programs and, uh, and, and grants uh, uh, offices uh, and, and grants um, uh, to, in, to bring in more funds, if, as if we didn't have enough, uh, to, uh, to our neighborhood. Um, our facilities are being uh, you know, extraordinarily uh, well uh, managed, I would, I would argue, and also run uh, cent central imaging facility by Krishnamurti, uh, Animal House by Mohan, uh, transgenic mouse <coughs> facility by uh, Rupshri, the fly facility by Vinay, uh, high throughput facilities by Balaji and anything else that you may want in terms of facilities by CCAM. So, so, so that's, I think, you know, if, if these aspects are in place, monies are flowing in, facilities are well managed, what else can you want uh, except to do great science? Um, so I'm, I must say that, you know, having um, uh, Mr. Rangaswamy, who's sort of almost single-handedly uh, uh, brought this building to this stage in the past year and a half or two, uh, with a very able team, of course, but he's been managing them. Uh, so new projects, I think, are also in safe hands. Um, uh, 
the, the interim wants to build more buildings, so you know we need we, new projects are going to happen. Uh, the th the civil electrical and um, uh, air conditioning teams who you know managed and regulated the temperature in the room um, have, have also done a great job today. Uh, uh, but you know yesterday was the first day that this auditorium um, was uh, was uh, in fact operated. So I think the fact that things have proceeded as well as they do, we should uh, really thank uh, these the, these people. Well, our finance and administration team, headed by Sadev and Pradeep and James, purchase, accounts, all the people behind the scenes, laboratory management. I mean, Ranjit and Wendy have been doing just a spectacular uh, job uh, making things available to us, along with the kitchen staff that we have. Um, uh, instrumentation, of course, um, uh, Gautam has been handling this, and you know, the way he's brought this room together is a reflection on what he's capable of doing. Um, our academic office is managed by Shanta, and you're going to hear about uh, some of some of um, from some of these people uh, in the reminiscences later. So I'm sort of just going to uh, not say very much. Do I have a couple, one more minute? Five minutes? Wow! No, I won't take that long. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. And um, so you're going to hear from some of these people. So I'm not going to you know uh, say anything except to say that. Um, 20 years, it's a great, it's a good opportunity for us, um, at least those who uh, live off these people, to thank, uh, thank the, this team to have brought us to this stage, and hopefully they will ensure that our future uh, uh, stays bright as well. So um, with that, I want to, I know, um, I know, I'm not sure there are going to be any more formal uh, talks uh, except for reminiscences, but I, what I'd like to do is actually thank the o people who uh, helped organize this meeting. Um, I would like to thank, uh, and perhaps we can have some applause, uh, uh, the, the people who organized this first session, the auditorium team, uh, the computer uh, facilities in the auditorium, Gautam, uh, and of course the organizing uh, team, Abu, uh, Gethi, who uh, uh, arranged for all our food, and you know we must uh, congratulate her on, on, on the menus. Uh, Jayant, uh, Vijay, and Apurva, she just took you know took charge of getting this uh, auditorium ready and uh, s started uh, making um, peace with people who are completely frayed at the edges. So she, you know it's been uh, uh, a fantastic team working for this for this meeting as well. Um, and, and all our colleagues at the front desk, the catering and meetings office, who you know managed all your travel and uh, and all the arrangements on the ground here, um, and of course Avinash and uh, the security staff who allowed us to take things in and out, unbeknownst to them perhaps, but uh, <laughs> uh, but they didn't uh, uh, interfere with with uh, our, the, making this event happen. So um, and also. Uh, you know, it's it's actually not, uh, I would say, a easy thing to organize uh, and make it happen in such a smooth way. So I think, um, in many ways, uh, 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 Vijay was the sort of silent architect behind uh, getting this meeting going. I, I, in fact, got so stressed out that I took off for a few days just before this meeting began, <laughs> uh, leaving, unfortunately, the uh, task of having this work uh, as smoothly as it does to Vijay and uh, Apu. So thank you very much. Okay, so one announcement, we have lunch. Um, again, um, again, same, uh, same uh, 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 schedule as yesterday on the first floor canteen. Um, and then I want to make one more announcement. The poster sessions this year are really the um, expression of all the science that's happening at NCBS here and now. Um, and so it would be nice if everyone, all the faculty included, could uh, uh, attend the three sessions beginning this afternoon, um, tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, uh, and engage with posters also outside their own labs.
I... Okay, this is just to say how the poster sessions are organized. They, all the posters are up all the time, but there are three sessions which have been printed out in the booklets that have been given you. And so the presenters will be there at the time. If you look at it, it's color coded. Session one, session two, session three will be, <laughs> will be presented at the time uh, indicated. And there are secret judges who are going around. Every, yeah, very nice prizes, not yet announced. <laughs> <laughs> judges also, I'm not sure they know about them. They know the, oh, sorry. Yeah.